Give the kids some credit. No. Hanky Panky made it amazing. Everyone player. gets one. Yeah, everybody gets one. But you know, congratulations to Hanky Panky. Actually, that was his first. You know, his first time getting. Uh, he broke out. He got famous at tournament. He did. I but I told him and he agreed. Like the last stock, I down aired him and he hit the platform oh. on uh, on battlefield and slid off. And he was like trying. I know for a fact he was trying to like roll in. Right. He was holding right on the C stick. So Peach just like forward air randomly and hit me off the stage and that changed the whole game. Ugh. Like I'm not I'm I'm not trying to John. I'm just saying that he got lucky for sure. <laughs> Controller error, in, bank error in your favor. Monopoly like guy waving him. Yeah, 200 bucks. So, is this a game? Yes, sir. We're going with no count. Is this Dark Atma versus Mac T? Yes, sir. We're oh my finals god. Cool. So, Dark Atma, like, uh, so his name's Binion. He's like a really, really good sheet from NorCal. Um, I think he's like, in Missouri now, though, right? I don't know where he is now, but I, no, not a lot of people know him, but he's amazing. Yeah. Sheik Peach, I don't know much about the matchup, but we'll see what happens. He's got two players play it. Of course, you know, we all know Mac D. You know, a really, really veteran Peach from SoCal. Yeah. One point was probably fighting for the uh, best peach in the state. Best peach NA. Yeah. But uh, from this chic, you should see like really textbook, really solid, and really crisp play. And I think that's what Dark Dom was known for. Yeah. He doesn't do too much funny business, you know. He just gets it done. You see that? Did you see that? That is a layup, going. my friend. Yeah. That was basic. Basic. That was, that was a rebound. Let me show you what happens when you just try to do this lame recovery. I'm just gonna slap you. Nice edge guard by McCain. Ooh, this is he's a up Sheik really wanting to land on that platform, but uh, yeah, I guess he faked, uh, faked Mac D out. Yeah, it worked. And then a yep. nice setup for the needles. Oh my god. So, something that I think is really hard for Sheik versus Peach is uh -huh. actually getting your throws into moves and not getting hit by her really fast there. Yeah. And Dark is doing a great job of not like getting in these trade situations. He's just getting clean hits, moving away. And then, and then, like punishing Mac D trying to do those auto nares. Yeah, he's spacing them out really well. So this is a really solid play right now. Mr. Saturn is not for it. Oh, but he's gone. Sometimes he walks around the stage. Oh, Mr. Saturn. Poor guy. And he does such a ton of damage on shields. He does. So I've heard anyway. I like never experienced it. Oh my God. West Coast DI. That Bermuda was really Triangle a, DI. That was a really good combo DI, but he needs to run with the DI there. <laughs> You want to like, you don't want to go straight down. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a pretty funny DI. I <laughs> gotta say. Anyway. Oh. That worked out for Mac D. Oh, worked out. Who tries to crouch cancel? Did, did that just not work? I feel like Peach's crouch cancel should be more powerful. It should be able to. Oh. Mac D going deep. Yo. Especially to Adele. Rolling in deep there. And now this is a real match. Well, did you see him do four rolls while holding a turnip? What is this? I feel like Magdi, one of those players where, like, again, you say he's a veteran, but, like, I don't think that he's ever established himself as, like, conventional or textbook. Oh, did like, I have to does, be that way? He does questionable things routinely, but, like, generally does really well. Yeah, so. I mean, sometimes uh, we talked about Alucard and Marvel, yeah. where he's not the most orthodox player, not playing the most orthodox team, but he'll do stuff that shouldn't work, and he makes it work. Yeah. Are we comparing Alucard and Mac D? I guess we are. Oh! Nice set. That was crazy. He slapped the turnip and it was like, the turnip hits back. I was trying to do like that uh, Karate Kid. <laughs> like where the wood doesn't hit back, something like that. Boards don't, don't hit back. The boards don't hit back, but I don't think it came together. Now the stream knows, that's what I was trying to do with that joke. <laughs> oh my god, getting crown slapped all over the place. Sheik has jewels embedded in her head right now. For all you didn't know, Peach's forward air, she takes her crown off and slaps you with it. All gold everything. All gold everything. Oh, slap right back. Slap fight. You know, I never thought about that. I don't even remember how Mac D took uh, control of this game. He crown slapped him, dude. Oh, <laughs> Uh, well, we had that we had that great edge guard off the side of the right. stage, we really and then we out. had that that turnip fighting back mishap, and uh, that's it. Ooh. Ooh, a bit too soon. 
You don't want to give a player like Dr. Emma second opportunities. So now, what I was talking about before is even more important. Um, like, as soon as he gets a grab, if he hits, he's got to get out of there. Right. See what I mean? He has to like, run and gun, because otherwise... He got the hit, but didn't run far enough away. Yeah. I think he was thinking that MACD was going to just nair right away, but it looked like he didn't. He, like, moved towards Binion, uh, moved towards Zarkama, and then threw out the nair. Right. And took the stock. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I think the term that they used for Alucard was a a yop, or an yop. unorthodox or unorganized player. They might not do the most Yeah, I think that I heard, I heard that yeah. saying. What's the Y? Is it a Y? How do you, say, huh? how do you spell yop? It's a UOP. It's even spelled weird. It's UOP. Unorganized <laughs> player. Oh! Peach Bomber! He definitely showed it right there. Oh that was my supreme God. yop status. That, yeah, that was as though he heard what we were talking about. Magni Peach, Peach Bomber's off Bomber? stage. Raw. <laughs> Man. He's looking like me out there. I think <laughs> I'm definitely famous for some misplays. Some wrong inputs. Oh, nice needle. Oh! Ooh. That was that was dangerous. I mean, Very if MACD had recognized what had happened earlier, I think he probably could have grabbed the ledge and that could have been stock. Yeah. But uh, Dark Omni lives to fight another day. Did you oh. see that right there? That float just barely above the uh, down tilt from Sheik? Crazy. Oh, Dot eyes? Didn't, I didn't want dot eyes. Did you see it? Yeah. I'm actually so bad at spotting turns. I like don't know how anybody in the world does it. It feels impossible to me. She nope. should like pull it out and show it to the crowd. <laughs> Present it. Here's yeah, like the, uh, the Vanna White. <laughs> oh, the right. no vowel spot there, but uh, I think Maxie <laughs> just got enough. What are some of the other things you could do in Wheel of Fortune? I'd like to buy a vowel. You. <laughs> I'd like to solve the puzzle. <laughs> Let's see if Dark Dark Ottman can solve this puzzle of the UOP. Oh, the needle! Why? Really smart stuff, though. I guess it was. Oh my God, getting a heart attack over here. And he's just going out there every time. I like yeah, it. He's, from, he's just playing safe. These nares are, or these four nares are really great. He's just slapping them like it's yeah. easy. And I think it probably is pretty easy. Ooh, but oh, but that time he switches to the back air, yeah. swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. If it ain't broke, I don't want to finish it. Wow, questionable up air. Tried to poke him off, but no dice. I like how the turnip just falls after she dies. <laughs> By the way, she doesn't die, she just gets KO'd. Right. I've been thinking about that a lot. Like, just talking about characters getting KO'd and SDing, and like, it's not really a kill move, it's a KO move, but whatever. It's all good. I don't think anybody cares. But I don't think they ever die. I think Falcon never dies. Falcon's never died. Not once. Actually, maybe he has. I haven't. There's like a long... Oh! oh good stuff from Mac D. So Sheik's up B is actually invincible for most of the part of that first little jump. But there's like a... There's a small window where it's not. And Mac D's really nailing it with these back airs while he's not invincible off stage. I'm not sure if uh, Dark Atma is ready for that. You know, I thought Dark Atma would be a bit more... Uh well versed in the matchup because he actually did play Peach for a while, right? Yeah, he did. Okay, that was an ambitious edge guard. And Dargama punishes him for it. It's always good to see like when somebody does something questionable and the other guy like just punishes him pretty hard well. for it. Yeah. I love that. Ooh! And a really nice weak nair into another nair. Another really That was a gutsy move from Mac D. I, f I feel like he's like channeling Armada right now, but like just can't make the connection. It's like a, like Armada, but like a zombie Armada. A bear? Yeah, uh -huh. I, yeah. I mean, let's hope Magdi doesn't lose after all these these like um, questionable decisions. Yeah. But he's not going to. Yeah, as takes he takes it too well. Handshake, standing up. Sweet. Sweet. He's going to make it out winner's side, which is fantastic. 